When I first found out that I had keratoconus, I had no clue what the word meant. I had no idea what it actually mean to have keratoconus. Although, I didn't know that my vision was pretty much getting very, very dizzy and very, very blurred. However, seeing halos and floaters was sort of weird for me because it was like a first experience. Seeing something different that you didn't really notice before. Having one eye see another thing and then another eye see something different. It was as if someone turned the light off and you have black and white and you have two different sides of a screen. Um, therefore, I had actually told my mom that I thought I was losing my vision. She did some research and that led us to a doctor in Cary, North Carolina. And they said that after the research was over and they did a consultation with me, they found out that the LASIK, I, I couldn't be a candidate for it. So our hopes was a little bit down, just for a little bit, and sooner or later we started doing more research, and then that's what kind of brought us to Beverly Hills, California. Of course, that's when I found Dr. Brian um, on the internet when looking for more information about keratoconus, because most doctors in that area of North Carolina didn't know a, little, a lot about the keratoconus disease. So I'm so thankful that we're able to come across Dr. Boxer Watchler. Um, we did try um, what they call hard contacts down in North Carolina, but at that particular time, that didn't work so well for Terrell. It made everything pretty much blurry and fuzzy on my right eye. The left eye was perfectly fine because it hadn't been as damaged as the other eye was from keratoconus. So the lens that they actually gave me wasn't like a medicine type of lens. It was more of a test contact lens that they used to see how far my keratoconus had progressed, but they didn't know how to fix it. They also stated that the hard contact lenses would actually not only slow down the progression of my keratoconus, but sort of almost stop it in some way. But it was a really a new procedure to them. And most people that have nearsightedness doesn't have astigmatism as well with keratoconus. So I pretty much came in there with a very, very rare condition that they could not handle. So <laughs> that's what led to more research and trying to find exactly what was happening to my eyes. And we also want to thank Dr. Brian Boxer Washler for all of the things that he done to help Terrell with this with this disease. Thank you so much.